Hey, welcome out here. I'm pretty excited to bring you this video today because there is constantly advancements coming out in drone technology and there's a lot of hype right now about the DJI T100 and I think it's a really great drone. But there's something else I want to show you that's going to be here very soon and you might just want to hold off a little bit on buying a new drone until you know which one you actually want. Let's get into it. We'll be talking about two drones today. One, the DJI T100, which is just available in Canada. And secondly, the SpiderEye UAV H400. First, I'm going to go over some of the general parameters of the T100, and then we'll get into the H400, which I'm really excited about. And we'll see how they compare. Some of the main features that we have here are the 100 liter spray tank, the 150 liter spreading tank, and a 100 kilogram payload lift amount. And so those are kind of the key features of the T100. It has some other things as well. One of the other main things that we'll compare is the, the remote controller. And so the T100 has a remote controller with a seven inch screen display and it also has a number of customizable buttons the h400 now this is quite a machine i'm pretty excited i hope to get to see one soon but they are not here yet so the h400 has a 150 liter spray tank capacity i'm not yet sure what size of dry tank the h400 has but it has a capacity to lift 150 kgs. The remote controller for the H400 has a five and a half inch display screen and it only has a couple buttons. It's very basic. And so that's a little different than the T100. And so those get, give you some of the main options that are going to be different between the two drones. Now there's a few other things that I'll go over. <clears throat> Both drones use a rotary atomizer system, but the H400 will also have the option of an attachable spray boom. And that has not been tested yet, so I'll try to keep you updated when I can get results from that. The sources that I have tell me the spray boom will be up to 18 or 20 feet wide and will cover a swath of up to 35 feet. And so the swath between these two machines is going to be very similar depending on height and speed. And so a lot of those things will come to be tested as we use them more. The T100 is already in use here, whereas the H400 will likely be coming out maybe a test machine this fall and production next year. So we'll have to wait a little bit on that, but it's definitely a larger machine. So the H400 has another 50% more lift capacity and tank capacity than the T100. That is something that is going to cover more acres, but there's going to be some toss up between which one will be better for which farm. These drones both fly at very similar speeds, but the obstacle avoidance is quite different on them, as well as the controller. I have only flown DJI systems so far with the T40. I've covered over 7,000 acres, so I'm pretty familiar with that system, and it works very well. I like the big screen, whereas the H400 has a smaller screen and a smaller controller, so I'm a little unsure about that, but I'm really impressed by the size. I think it's going to come down to if you are doing large fields that have not many obstacles, the H400 may be the drone you're looking at. If you have complex, smaller fields with a lot of hills or trees or other challenges like that, the T100 seems well suited to that. And I'm not going to get into all those details in this video, but I just wanted to give you some general information and I'm going to try to get more out as soon as I can as this H400 develops. It looks very promising. So if you want more updates, please feel free to subscribe. And I will try to get 
them forward as soon as I can, but it may be a little while. We're looking at it coming out this fall for testing, and in 2026, there should be some of those out for production.